Hi everyone, it's me Wendy and I want to show you a family organizer planner I made. I've been working on this for a few days and I'm almost to the finish point. Enough that I'm not going to do anything to it until I see something that I want done to it. <laughs> but this is it. This, I followed a tutorial for Kathy Orda's lap book. She did a December daily lap book. And I used her tutorial to make this. But then there was another gal, and I'll put the link below, who said her sister made her using the lap book tutorial. Basically a family organizer. I don't know exactly what she called it. But that's where I got my idea from. It was not an original idea, trust me. And I'll put the link to hers down below too because hers is absolutely beautiful. Now with mine... I used what I had on hand. I didn't go to the store and buy any of the score tape or the... Although I wanted to. I used the paper pad I had on hand. I had some manila folders. I used... My husband gets this tape from work. They use it on their machines. And when the roll gets too low, they throw it out. Well, it's double stick and tape. So I used this. And what I did was I laid it on this mat, this plastic mat, and I don't know if you can see it, but I would cut little quarter inch strips, half inch strips, and then peel them off and use them. And then when I needed more, I did the process all over again. That's some leftover stuck on there. Quite time consuming, quite annoying, but hey, I had the tape. I'm not going to buy any more. And the paper pad I used was this. I believe I got it on sale at AC Moore a while back. I don't know what it's called. It has a frog on it. Froggy. And then I don't have any... I don't have any... Um, I don't have any of the like antique dye. I had a stamp pad. I had a Tim Holtz vintage photo stamp pad. I, I must have run out. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. So I used good old shoe polish, brown shoe polish. And I did all the edges of things when I remembered. And I actually went a little bit crazy. I, did, I wasn't expecting to go crazy. As you can see the color. It. <laughs> I just went crazy with it. So there you have it. This I'm going to change this out. But for right now it works. This is just the band holding it together. It's a headband, and I velcroed it, and that's it for now. But I think I'm going to change that out. But anyways, here it is in all of its glory. Now let me just show you. I'm going to open it up and just show you real quick everything in here. I'm not going to have enough room to do it, do it all, to open it all up. But there you get the idea. That's one side, and here's the other side. And I'll, I'll show it to you, but isn't that huge? Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's humongous. And I love it. And it's using file folders, manila file folders, and paper, and cardstock. Lots of cardstock. Okay, so I hope none of my personal information is showing, if it is. Please block it from your mind. <laughs> but this is the first page inside the cover. I have a pocket here. I have some return address labels here, so I'm not going to show you those. And I put a pad of paper in here. This was left over from... I cut a composition book down to fit into my traveler's notebook. And this is what was left over, so I just made a pad of paper out of it. Yeah, I like when you have leftover stuff that you can use. Now some of these pockets are labeled, not all of them are, but some of them are. This says stuff, work, work. The reason I have work in here is just real quickly I can go through, pull the card out, and it has my husband's and my children's work information, phone numbers that I can call them right away. This is a big pocket. I'm going to cover that up. I forgot about that. <laughs> this is a big pocket that use, I put restaurant takeout menus in. And that's what's in there. That's big all the way down. 
here and there, but I didn't finish the inside. I think it looks ugly. I might have to go in and do something. I just think it's ugly. This is a pocket that I didn't know what to do with, so it just has stuff in it right now. My husband said don't label them all because we're going to probably come up with ideas as we use it. Fantastic. And here, nothing as of yet. This one has coupons. These are my takeout menu coupons. Same as there. This I put, this is school. This, I'm not gonna, I'll just open it to a blank page. This again is another one of those um, leftover pages from a book I had cut. But anyways, I had written down my kid's school number, grade he's in, because you know, you could use this for several years. His locker combinations. <laughs> And uh, the school number for, you know, if he's absent, you can call in. And that tucks right in there. It's a pocket. This, this was a great idea from that lady who made the organizer, the family organizer. And she called it a vault. I just stuck a window and a door handle on it. I am going to cover that up because it looks cheesy. But anyways, there's a little magnetic magnet in there that closes it so if you're not looking for it you kind of will just skip right over it but it opens up and I have two pockets in there I haven't done anything in here she put like money in here or passwords so I probably won't do that but I had the magnet so I could do it <laughs> another little pocket pocket nothing in it as of yet this is a pocket with our I made another little book using, again, more of those leftover traveler's notebooks, but I don't know if you can read that. Meds, medicine, pills. This is a list of the medicines that we take in case we ever need to know. There's something real quick there. Sticky notes for this because I, I put contact paper over top of that to make it hold sticky notes. And that line just keeps on coming back no matter how much I push it down. So the sticky notes are there. And then the center of it all is a calendar. Um, the calendar, fortunately I had this, I'd printed this up for one of my planners I was making last year and never used it. So the perfect fit and I think perfect color. And I've got more here for the next months to come. They just get tucked in the pocket behind it. And also I have a larger pocket back here, nothing in it as of yet. Pen sits right there. I don't know, I'd probably move that open it up to move it now this I'm gonna probably get rid of this but I haven't figured out what to do with it yet so I'm leaving it there it's just a little pocket it says once upon a time over here says happily ever after it all just kind of goes together this as well I made it a belly band to put one of the books in that I made and it kept falling out so I'll have to figure out what to do with that and it's all wrinkly because I used regular white glue again I used everything I had at home and white glue tends to dry wrinkly. I could have used more of the tape, but that's a lot of tape. So it's what it is, and I'm actually happy with it. I don't mind it at all. What is that? I don't know. Maybe it's something in the pocket. I think it's a scrap piece of paper. I can't get it. <laughs> but it's a belly band, anyways. Oh, sorry. I tried that. These are just stuff. I've got little, um, I just took index cards. Let me see, do I have a blank one? I made a couple extra blank ones. I have to find where they are. I just took index cards and put a little piece of the paper at the end. So that part sticks out. And that's all I did. And they just fit right in there. So that's what that is. That's what the index cards are. I don't want to pull them out because I do know that some of that has information on it. Um, this is a birthdays and more book. Birthdays, anniversaries for families. And I just more that paper that I cut for the Traveler's Notebook and put everybody's birthdays down in it. So I have everybody's birthday at a glance. Woohoo! This I made, I printed it up on the computer, not this, the, let me open it up so I know information, okay. I printed this up, 
I didn't want to show you anything. But it says contacts, and I don't want the whole address or anything because I do have an address book. But this says just name, home, and cell for the phone numbers. So real quickly, and I've already written in it. And on the back page is a continuation of doctors. On the front page, it has emergency numbers. For instance, I've, well, we all know 911, but I have our county's non-emergency number. I have the animal shelter number, things like that. And here I have some business cards real quickly through that. Here I just threw these in. This is another one I don't know what to do with. Put a flower on it because the flower is so pretty. And then over here, this, oh, here's another pocket that has uh, takeout menus and all. Menus for the restaurants. Because that's, that's a full pocket. It goes all the way down. And then here we have recipes. You know, some of the recipes that we like to use. I had some recipe cards that I had bought a while ago and just stuck them in there. Same with here. These are going to be like my desserts, like our favorite cookie recipe. And this is our favorite lasagna recipe. Just the ones we use the most that we just pull out to refer to. And then I made this as just an extra pad of paper. Just because it's cute. That's a clipboard stamp, so I made it look like a clipboard. <laughs> I actually wrote some of my pen pals letters like that. Yeah. And then here was that paper I put in that belly band, but it kept falling out. I wanted to keep a list of paper of TV shows, books, and movies that are coming out or that we'd like to see when sometimes, you know, someone mentions it to you and you're oh, I'm going to write that down. Well, I write it down, but I never know where I put it. <laughs> so that's what that's for. And that's it. That is my new family organizer that I've been working on. Still have a couple things to do. Again, I don't I don't like this plane, so I'm going to decorate that. Put some paper up there. Here as well. I did over here, but I didn't on this side, and that really needs it. And I do want to come up with something to do with this. I don't I don't like this, and this didn't work. But this is really neat. I've already used it for school, like all the contacts and everything. I used it to fill out my son's school paperwork. And you put this in, and you wrap the nice little band around it. And I leave it on my hutch that's in my kitchen. That's perfect size. That's what I've been doing, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.